It is about dang time for another empties video. It's been too long since my last one, which means I have so, so many skincare, makeup, hair care, I'm gonna set this down, and body care items that I have fully used up and I am going to let you know my thoughts on all of them, whether or not I would personally repurchase, whether or not I would recommend you purchase. So let's just jump right into it. I don't know what that was. I only have three makeup empties this time, so I figured we'd kick off the video with makeup empties and then we will move into other categories after that. My very first makeup empty is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I have been absolutely obsessed with this. I still absolutely love the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, but over the past few months, I have been reaching for this so much more because I love the extra glow that it gives my skin. There's just something about it that really makes my skin pop, which I love, of course course, but it still gives me a similar amount of coverage where it's medium to full, not too full coverage. Just looks really beautiful. I freaking love it. I was kind of surprised that I emptied the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum because... It's really difficult for me to empty a lip product given how many I have. This is in the shade Mauve Glow. I absolutely love this. It's so beautiful. It has a sheer amount of pigment with, let's see if I can get like the tiny, no. <laughs> I'm like, can I get a swatch? It has a sheer to light amount of pigment with some glitter reflex throughout. It's so beautiful, so juicy on the lips, super comfortable. I love it. I know that this product is very polarizing because of the fact that it's very melty and can be a bit messy. And I know that that's not something that everyone wants to put up with when they're spending their money on a lip product. It's not something that bothers me to the point where I wouldn't repurchase this. And I feel like there's a lot of lip products like this now. So people are just kind of like, eh, it's okay given the effects that you get on the lips. However, I just have so many lip products that I'm loving right now, so many things to test out. So in the meantime, I will not be repurchasing, but that doesn't mean it's not absolutely beautiful. And my last makeup empty is the Amicole Lip Oil in the shade Reflection, which is just completely clear. I have already repurchased this because I... <laughs> I'm in love with this product. It is so, so thick and cushy on the lips. It's not one of those like really thin, extra oily lip oils. I feel like it's just, how would I describe this? It's like if a gloss was thick and cushy and comfortable and not sticky. I don't know. I simply don't know. It's just really unique for the lip category. I feel like if anything, I would consider this to be the next generation of lip glosses or what lip glosses should strive to be. Because again, it is so comfortable on the lips. It's not overly sticky like a lot of older lip gloss launches are and it is hyper reflective. Like this makes my lips look like they are dripping in popsicle juice. I am obsessed. Obviously, cause I already repurchased it. Moving on to I guess like a subset of skincare, which is lip care. I have gone through two Laneige lip sleeping masks in the fragrance, scent, flavor, whatever you wanna call it. Vanilla, which is my absolute favorite for sure out of all of the lip mask flavors. I am obsessed with this lip mask. How many times have I already said obsessed in this video? I gotta think of a new word. You guys already know that if you have been watching my videos over the past couple of years, because it's something that I personally believe is the most luxurious feeling lip mask out of any lip mask I have ever tried. She's just that girl, which is why, again, I've already repurchased it. I have two of the Neutrogena Hydrating... Mm, Neutrogena Hydrating Hydro Boost lip sleeping masks. This one has little Elsie puppy bites on it, which makes me depressed. When she was a puppy, I would sometimes catch her gnawing on these. <sighs> tiny again. I recently posted a video talking about the products that I would be leaving behind in 2023 and not bringing with me to 2024. Spoiler alert, this product was in that video. Not because I don't love the way that it feels, because I absolutely do. It is so soft. It's something that just like slips and glides on the lips. I love it. It gives you beautiful shine. So all of that is amazing, but the taste was starting to bug me. It's something that's just like a little bit plasticky. And while I would not consider it to be so so plasticky that it's offensive and I wouldn't ever want to wear it. It's just something that I over time just gradually started reaching for less and less because I noticed that whenever I would eat, it would kind of like melt into my mouth a little and I would get that plasticky taste 
which is kind of gross. But I do know that so many of you guys are still absolutely loving this and don't have any issue with the taste. So I feel like it's still something that's worth testing out because it's super affordable. Moving on from lip care into facial skincare, I have emptied yet another bottle of my apostrophe prescription. And this portion of the video is kindly in partnership with apostrophe. Thank you so, so much to apostrophe for sponsoring this video because it's a brand that I use every single night in my nighttime skincare routine. And it's definitely not every day that you get offers to work with brands that you truly use every day and truly love so much. So without further ado, let's jump into the apostrophe portion of this video. For those of you that are newer to my channel and know that tretinoin has been a major part of my skincare journey, but are wondering how I get access to it, the answer to that is that I get access to tretinoin through apostrophe. Apostrophe is an online platform that connects you to an expert dermatology team and provides access to oral and or topical prescription medications. My prescription is a topical prescription and it contains 0.1% tretinoin, spironolactone, and tranexamic acid. Let's apply some while we talk about the rest. The main reason that I started using tretinoin in the first place is because I started experiencing hormonal acne. I was getting a lot of cystic breakouts in this region of my face, like around my nose, my mouth, jawline, and they just would not quit. Every time one cleared up, another one would pop up in another place and they were painful and really inflamed. So at that time, which, oh my gosh, was like seven or eight years ago now. Oh, that makes me feel old. I went to the dermatologist and got a prescription for tretinoin, but after a few months, my skin just continued to break out more and more and it wasn't improving. I was still really young at that period in my life. I was in my very early 20s and I was just desperate to have better skin immediately and I couldn't really appreciate the concept of something getting worse before it gets better. So I stopped using it. But thank goodness for my mom because she was still in my ear continuing to tell me about how transparent transformative tretinoin was for her skin. She was seeing amazing improvements in terms of anti-aging and clearing up hyperpigmentation. And she kept telling me that she knew I'd regret it if I didn't start using it and that the long-term benefits far outweighed the potential increase of breakouts. So she finally got to me and I decided to start using it again. I tested out a lot of different online services to get access to tretinoin. And throughout that process, my skin was improving slowly but surely. But when I realized that tretinoin by itself just wasn't enough to fully get rid of my breakouts, I started doing some more research and stumbled upon apostrophe a prescription that contained not only tretinoin, but also spironolactone. So that's why I decided to test them out. That was officially two summers ago and I haven't looked back since. My skin is happy. I am happy. You can't ask for anything more. So whether you're someone like me who is struggling with acne and also looking to start using anti-aging skincare or like my mom and struggling with hyperpigmentation or other skincare concerns like fine lines, wrinkles, and rosacea, all you have to do to get access to a personalized treatment plan for those skin concerns is complete a virtual consultation through apostrophe. Plus you can use this promo code that's listed on the screen and in my description box below to get your initial consultation for $5 plus an additional $5 off your first order. All right, back to the rest of the video. Next up for skincare is something that I have talked to you guys about so many times, but not as much recently. And it is the Bioma Balancing Face Mist. This facial mist is so, so good. I believe this is now my second empty. It contains ceramides, probiotics, elantoin, other really hydrating, replenishing ingredients. It's calming. It's refreshing. It's soothing. I love it. It's just something that I will definitely continue to repurchase. Right now, I am currently using the Geek and Gorgeous liquid hydration facial mist and I really am enjoying that. It's also all the things that I would say about this facial mist, but because I do still have quite a bit of that one left, I'm going to pause on repurchasing this. And then after that, let me know if there's a different facial mist you'd like me to test out. Otherwise, I'll probably go back to this and then like just bounce back and forth between that and Geek and Gorgeous. The Hada Labo cleansing oil is definitely a fan favorite. So many people love this. So many people have recommended it to me and for good reason, it's definitely a great cleansing oil. I have no complaints. I don't know what it is about cleansing oils, but I feel like it's really difficult for me to become loyal to one. Like I want to keep testing out new ones every time I go through one. So right now I'm not going to repurchase this. I want to play around with some others, but it's definitely not one that I would never buy again, because again, I think it's great. One that I will not buy again is the Purito From Green Cleansing Oil. And it's not because there's anything wrong with it in terms of performance or feel. It doesn't feel overly greasy. It works well, but the smell, oh no, 
No. <laughs> Just like straight up vegetable oil from the aisle at the grocery store. So if you can't tell, I hate the smell of this, but I think they did just reformulate this recently. So if any of you have tried the new one, do you think that it smells super just, I mean, oily? <laughs> that sounds weird, but oil definitely has a smell and it's not my favorite kind of smell. I have gone through a full bottle of the Youth to the People Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamin, no. <laughs> the superfood cleanser, which has kale, green tea, spinach, and vitamins. Similar to the Makeup by Mario Lip Serum, I also feel like this product is very polarizing. People either love it or hate it. I personally love it. Even though I have very sensitive skin, it doesn't irritate my skin. I know some people also feel that this is too stripping on the skin, but I've never had that issue. I do have skin that leans oily, so that's probably why. And it's definitely something that I will repurchase again in the future. But for me, this is more of a summertime cleanser and especially like a summertime sweaty workout cleanser because unlike some of my favorite creamier cleansers this isn't particularly hydrating or conditioning it just is really good at cleansing so it's not something I love to use in the winter because I'm looking outside right now you guys it's like literally zero degrees so cold so dry just not the time of year for a cleanser like this. Since telling you guys that I was reintroducing vitamin C into my skincare routine, I have used up the Timeless Skincare 20% Vitamin C with Ferulic Acid and Vitamin E Serum. This is a great vitamin C serum. I love the fact that it contains 20% ascorbic acid and other antioxidants to kind of like boost the effects that you'll get. And this is one of the vitamin Cs that I used to use the most back when I consistently used vitamin C a few years ago before introducing the ordinary copper peptides. So because of that, I feel like I really haven't been able to experiment with different vitamin C serums or look into potentially better options out there. So I would like to do that now, which is what I'm doing. So in the meantime, I will pause on this. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I do want to see if there are better options. Definitely let me know in the comments below if there are vitamin C serums that you would like me to look into and or test out. I'm happy to do so. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Serum stays strong in my skincare routine. Routine. I've gone through another bottle. I absolutely love this for preventing texture. If you deal with stubborn texture, I would highly recommend trying it out. It contains 2% salicylic acid, 3% lactic acid, and a postbiotic ferment. An eye cream I used up is the CauseRx Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. This is one of my all-time favorite eye creams. I just love it in warmer weather months when I want something that is lighter weight but still feels very replenishing. This has really nice nourishing and replenishing ingredients, including the snail mucin, of course. That ingredient is just five stars. It truly has so many different benefits. I will repurchase this again eventually, but similar to kind of what I've been saying throughout this video, I am going to test some other things out first. Oh my gosh, the most freaking expensive product in this video is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream Moisturizer. This is absolutely beautiful. It is so incredibly hydrating. It's something that I would consider to be a hybrid between a gel and a cream, so it's not so, so lightweight to wear. It's really just kind of providing hydration, but not long-term moisture. It's moisturizing enough for me to either last all day or overnight, but I definitely am reaching for things that are thicker and more occlusive given the really cold, dry weather, so pausing on this. Honestly, I don't know that I'm going to repurchase this again anytime soon just because of the crazy high price point. I want to make sure I'm testing out things that are more accessible to you guys. So even though I love it and would recommend it if you've been interested in this and you want to splurge on it, I also get that it's not accessible. Two products from Dermatology. The first, <laughs> their labels, they just fully rub off, which is so frustrating because the price point is not super, super cheap. So I really hope that we see some upgraded packaging in the future. I know that they have already, you know, come out with several iterations of their packaging since I started using their products. So I have high hopes that they will do that and fix this problem. But this, I just know off the top of my head, is their Peptide Night Cream. It is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers. It just feels like luxury in a little bottle. Definitely something that is thicker and more occlusive than let's say the Charlotte's Tilbury, Charlotte's Tilbury, 
want. The Charlotte's Magic Water Cream, but it's not super thick and heavy. It still feels lightweight. It's almost kind of like whipped. I love it. I have also used up another one of my all-time favorite products. It's the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45, which is an untinted sunscreen that feels velvety, lightweight. It's almost like a liquid to kind of not powder, it obviously doesn't feel like powder, but the dry down is so, so good. Very unique. I feel like there are so many sunscreens that just stay sitting on your skin and stay looking and feeling kind of wet and heavy. Not this one at all. It dries down amazingly well. If you have super oily skin, I feel like you will love this because of that. And it is one I will continue to repurchase until the end of time. And if you're interested in testing out this sunscreen, the peptide night cream, or any other products from Dermatology, I do have a 20% off discount link that is in the description box of all of my videos. If you click that, it will automatically apply a 20% off discount at checkout. You guys, I have such a problem with this product. This is a hand cream. It is called Hard as Hoof, 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 I say Hoof, Nail Strengthening Cream. And this is but ugly. Like, I have a problem. Focus. I have a problem with this. Like, there's something about the way this looks and the fact that it has hoof in the title of the product that is just spooky to me. However, this is probably one of the top five, well, honestly, like, top three to two, maybe one. This is one of the best hand creams I have ever tried. There's like the tiniest bit left, I'm going in. But oh my gosh, I can't explain what this does to my hands. It just feels so incredibly nourishing. It's almost like there's a little bit of a balmy quality to it, but without it feeling greasy or waxy. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it smells really nice. What'd I say this smells like? Almost something like half almondy, half summery, sunscreeny about it. Doesn't smell like sunscreen, but like maybe a dash of that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And it's just something that I picked up off Amazon. So I'm like, I don't wanna repurchase it. Cause like, I don't want you sitting in my bathroom, but at the same time I do because you make my hands feel so good. Something else that makes my hands feel amazing is the Hustle Butter. I think it's just Hustle Butter Tattoo Cream. Maybe just Hustle Butter, but it is a tattoo cream. So it's something that was created to be applied to tattoos to help to I don't know, is make them last longer a thing? I think so, cause like tattoos fade. But the reason why I purchased this is because I have microblading on my brows and I wanted something that would help that microblading to last as long as possible. My lip gloss has been smudging throughout this entire video and you weren't gonna tell me, were you? So I fully use this up because I love applying this every night on top of my brows. It's something that I just really enjoy doing, so it feels so nice. And I have also started using this as a cuticle cream. I freaking love it as a cuticle cream, and I love the fact that it's something that I use for a couple different purposes, because it just makes me more likely, makes me more likely, I guess, that's how I would say that. It just makes it more likely that I will actually take care of my cuticles, which is not always something I remember to do. Hey, diaper boy. Tiny boy, diaper boy. What diaper? My sister's pup, Quincy, wears diapies because he might have an anatomical issue. He is going to be going to the U of M, University of Minnesota, to get checked out by their vet staff there to see what's going on, poor buddy. I feel bad because he's so sweet. Tiny boy, zappy boy. Moving on to hair care. I have gone through so many vials of a prey. This is something that I added into my hair care routine a few months ago now, and I have been doing it every single wash, and I am loving. If you're curious to know how I actually use this, I'm going to list a video below called my hair oiling routine because it's actually the first step in that routine. So I talk through and show you guys how I use it in that video. But obviously it's something I've really been enjoying. I just feel like it makes my hair even softer, even smoother, even shinier. It really is something that I think has made a difference in my hair, which is impressive because I obviously do a lot to take care of my hair and I already was using a ton of products that made my hair feel great. To all those people who say there's no way I actually use drugstore hair care at home, here's your proof. I have emptied a full bottle of the Pantene Pro-V Volume and Body Shampoo. Oh my goodness, best clarifying shampoo I have ever used in my entire life. That's all I need to say. I have also used up the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm laughing because look at how 
crusty these bottles look. This actually really bothers me. I, number one, can't stand the way that these bottles start to collapse as you use them up. It just, I don't know. I don't love the look of that in my shower. Maybe it's just because I film content in my shower. Not content like that. Knock it off. And I also hate, I mean, of course, how these don't stick. Like this just, it looks junky. So please fix it, Redkin, please. Cause I love, love these dearly with my whole heart. This acidic bonding concentrate set continues to be in my top few shampoo and conditioner set favorites, which says a lot because I have tested out so many over the years, especially since I first tried that. Like it kind of immediately became a favorite and then it's just stayed being a favorite since. Okay. The Amika Perk Up Plus Extended Clean Dry Shampoo is so good. Oh my gosh. I'm actually really excited that they sent me another one of these in PR recently because I was gonna run out and buy it after I finished this up because of how much I've been enjoying it. I really liked it when I first was playing around with it, but ever since I started blow drying my hair after using this, I feel like my love for it has just reached another level. It just like disappears in my hair after that. It makes my hair look so clean, but like I have no product in it. It is amazing and it smells great. Uh, the Olaplex number no. 4D clean volume what? Detox dry shampoo is also really good. I know a lot of people had a hard time with this. I have found that if you like really make sure to shake it up, that will help to ensure that you get a nice distribution of product. And again, it works well. It's lightweight. It's not something that looks super powdery in my hair, but I just officially don't like the smell of this. She says as she sprays it right in front of her. Wait, why can't I smell it? Okay, there we go. I mean, it smells just like all of their products, but there's something about it that I just, I don't know, I don't love. I feel like I used to really like the smell and now as time has gone on, I'm like, no, there's something not right about it. There's still quite a bit of product left in this. I just thought I would show it in this video because I'm gonna give it away because I don't want my hair to smell like that, especially because it's dry shampoo. Oops. If it was like a shampoo, I'd be more inclined to use it because that doesn't tend to cling to my hair in the same way that something like a dry shampoo does. I feel like I can smell dry shampoo in my hair for days sometimes. All right, you guys, let's wrap up this video with body care. First up is the Hemp's Buttercream Birthday Cake Herbal Body Moisturizer. This smells so delicious. Oh. That's good. I am so picky about the body lotions I use because similar to dry shampoo, I want that smell that lingers to be something that I love. So I almost always go for something that is sweet, like cake, vanilla, something in the baked goods family. And this is just incredible. It smells so yummy. Another that smells so good and again, falls into that category is the what are you? Tree Hut Sweet Cream Whipped Shea Butter. These body butters are unreal. If you have never tried them, you absolutely have to. Even if this smell isn't up your alley, they have a lot of other options. And it feels, I think it just got some on my head. It feels expensive. Like this feels like it should be at least $50 and it's drugstore. So good. I do really love this smell. I bought several of these. That's something I'll do if I really love something, especially because this is limited edition. I'll buy a bunch. And I have to say, even though I love it, there are others in this family of fragrances that I like better than this, but it still is great. I just think that this one beats it. Nothing beats this to me. It is the Philosophy Fresh Cream Body Lotion and it is divine. Oh my goodness. What I love so much about this is it captures that sweetness that I love in a body cream, but it's not overly, overly sweet. Like this one from Tree Hut has a bit more of like a sharpness to it where it's super sweet. And again, it's good, don't get me wrong, but if you want something that's just like a little bit more toned down, you have to try this. I, I am in love. It doesn't get better than this. I'm stressed out though, because I was looking online and I can't find the bigger version of it anymore that comes with a pump. I can only find this. So I'm like, if you guys are discontinuing this, I'm gonna come find you. What? <laughs> That was me trying to be threatening, okay. Please don't discontinue this. Please don't. There, that's my like nicer angle. All right, you guys, those are all of the empties that I wanted to share for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this. And as always, I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products? What was your experience in using them? Are there products that you have used up recently that you either love and think we need to know about or don't love and also think we need to know about? Let's all chat in the comments below. But other than that, you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, click on that notification bell, send my channel to a friend. 
Thank you so much for your support in doing those things. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because that will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days.